Hello, I'm Anthony. Welcome to Bad Idea Metals. I'm still on a quest to clean up the side yard, but I found a fun thing. I'm gonna show you this one today. So I tear apart a lot of things, a lot of computers, a lot of, I don't know, some cool stuff. And um, this is an old Pentium 3. So uh, I'm gonna set that over on my, on my trailer and we're gonna tear it apart together. All right, before we get too far, uh, you'll see my steel collection on that side. I've got my low quality wires that I can't really do a whole lot with. Um, someday I may come back and grab the gold connectors out of the, the, the connectors here. Some of them are gold plated, some of them are not. Um, I've got electric motors over there. There's copper in that. Uh, just general debris, I guess. For ease of access, I've got my, my bucket of, of RAM. Uh, this isn't terribly large. I mean, it's a pretty good sized desktop. Um, it's about a foot and a half by about a foot and a half. Uh, I don't know, about eight inches tall. So let's uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. So the standard tools I use for this job, a Phillips screwdriver, the longer the neck, the better, um, a standard flathead and some pliers to, to yank on some stubborn wires. I do also use a uh, impact drill to help speed things up. So we'll set that off to the side for when we need it. So on this, the motherboard's gonna be on this side because all the components are on this side. The power supply is right here. We got a video card. We have our serial ports. Um, one of these is probably to a printer. That actually looks like another video card, but serial could also be 15 pin or or any number of pins. Nine pin was, was normal, 15 pin was normal. All right, so let's stand this one up. It's a Pentium 3, um, this Alpha Imager, this might be a specific functionality that it was built for. I've never actually heard of that, so who knows? Somebody had done us the favor of uh, unscrewing the back So that means we could just pull it off at this point. And that's all steel. We'll throw it off to our steel pile there. And on the inside, let me pull you guys in closer here. All right. So underneath our power supply right, right up here, we've got the main system. You've got your motherboard there on the bottom and attached to the motherboard, we've got our ram back there there's only three slots on this on this board these are going to be probably pc66 or pc100 ram and that stick says pc100 so you could you could usually mix and match pc100 and pc133 so 128 megabytes of pc100 <coughs> This one is also PC100, and it doesn't say uh, how much RAM is on there. So um, there's our three sticks, PC100. This stuff is pretty, pretty old. It's pretty exciting stuff, I guess. Let's take a step back and show you. PC100 RAM looks a lot like DDR1. It's got the, it's got the fingers on the sides of the IC chips. Um, the gold. Gold fingers are pretty nice. Uh, so we're gonna set that down here in with the rest of our rim. All right, so just looking at the rest of this board here, we've got a video card. Um, um, you can see just right off that the hard drive bay is empty. Um, the The companies that I, that I do destruction for, they pull their drives. I can't believe anybody had a PC, I mean a, a Pentium 3 just sitting around, but they did. Um, your optical drives fit up here. This is a floppy drive. And then on the other side of the floppy drive, this is a CD-ROM. And uh, then there's room for more expansions. Let's go ahead and pull this card up. And right off, I can see something. This resistor right here, it blew out. That is heat damage. 
This card also says that it's from 1999. It's a 3D FX card. Um, there it is, 3D FX. So um, this style right here, you don't see this style anymore. This is an AGP. So here, let's pull another card out. This is a PCI card. Um, I'm not exactly sure what, what this one's for. We can look closer at it. I, uh, nothing about it tells me exactly what its function is other than it's a serial card. But you can see that there's a difference in these pins. These AGP fingers stagger from fat to skinny. Um, the fat side, the connecting side, um, alternates from the top and the bottom of the, of the expansion slot um, insert. Whereas PCI, which is what more modern uh, computers use, this PCI technology, it's all uniform. The width is the same from the top to the bottom. It does have these little fingerlings right down here, but that's not really relevant. Most, most cards really don't do that anymore. Eh, some companies might, but for the most part, they, all PCI looks like this and all AGP looks like this. So this is some pretty interesting RAM. This is an old style, which really isn't used anymore. Even this is old, but this is what um, DDR1 looked like. Uh, so, so this RAM is, uh, is a really old style, but uh, it's pretty cool stuff. So we'll tear these apart. Um, they're not gonna function anymore, especially this video card with that damaged um, surface mount stuff. So we'll set that down with some cards. Pull out the last expansion card. <clears throat> oh, and this is more of an ISA style. That's the ISA slot. So I haven't seen an ISA card uh, in a while. 1992. Um, so Inotech Scientific. So this card is actually for whatever this computer is made to do. Um, this is a specialty card. So these fingers are actually going to be more valuable than the other fingers that we've seen in, in modern computers. ISA is really good for gold recovery. Um, these pins are not gold plated. And so I really don't think there's going to be much more value to this board than these fingers. I might be uh, able to find some gold bond wire in these ICs, but these ICs really are not what we're looking for for um, gold recovery. So. We'll set this down to get the fingers trimmed and uh, move on. Okay, well, <clears throat> now that we've got our expansion card slots emptied, let's uh, see what we can do to get to the CPU. It has become free out the side, or this would have been the top, but it's not technically free yet. Got all these wires plugged in still. So there is our power supply. This is a pretty old power supply. Nothing super fancy about that. All right, I'll try not to get in the way here, but we're running out of room with this with this structural piece. Let's go ahead and see what we can do to get the uh, slot processor out. This is a Pentium 3. It's not hard to do, it's just hard to do and not get in the way. There we go. And this is a Pentium 3. It's got a plastic um, housing, which helps bind it to an aluminum heatsink and a cooling fan. There are Pentium 2s and Celerons that also match this, this same style. This is just a slot load processor. Um, I, can, I can break into this. In fact, why don't, I, why don't I do that? You know what? I was just about to destroy this, just so you can see that this looks kind of like a video card. It's got, it's got some ICs on one side, it's got some MLCCs up here, you can see, and it's got these, these kind of like um, AGP fingers. But you know what? I'm gonna let this live. So I'm gonna put the screwdriver away and this is gonna get put in my trophy case. This is a Pentium 3. There you go. I don't destroy everything I see. This one, this one's gonna survive. Well, there's really not that much left. Um, I usually just clean out the wires. Um, 
the CDs, the optical drives, I mean, they usually don't have much value outside of um, maybe if you've got a Blu-ray or something like that. So for the most part, we're pretty much done with this, with this teardown. So if you look real close, right here, it's a gold cornered BGA. I wonder what's underneath this. I wouldn't be surprised that there's a second gold corner BGA. Let's go ahead and get the motherboard out and uh, we'll take this aluminum heatsink off and we'll see what's hiding underneath that. But really, other than getting the wires out of here, the rest of this I just put in my scrap steel bin and we move on. So let's go ahead and get that motherboard out. Long handled Phillips came in handy. Okay. Here is our motherboard. Pretty small, pretty simple. Come on, screw, get off. Um, let's go ahead and get this heat sink off. Ah, uh, that's an uh, interesting. It's got a little bit of an adhesive and a and a. I'm not exactly sure if that's aluminum as well or it could be something else. We'll put that in our aluminum bin. Let's take a quick look. So we've got another gold corner BGA. So there's two of them on this board. We've got a, a copper component, another copper component hiding up underneath these uh, aluminum based uh, capacitor cells. Um, some gold plated pins. Uh, pretty standard Pentium 3 board. So we'll set this off to the side to be processed. That concludes my uh, my teardown of this Pentium 3. Here's our here's our friend, the Pentium 3 slot processor again. So uh, yeah, well, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Um, there have been requests to get my uh, solar panels up. Um, we've had a lot of rain, uh, and it's been really cold this morning. Even though it's the end of June, it's been uh, we've had 38 degree mornings. It's not exactly warm around here yet. Uh, our summer is getting away from us though, but I do want to get those solar panels up. Um, so all of you that are that are watching the the solar and the battery videos that I've already made, um, it's coming. I know about it. I know you guys want it. Um, uh, I'm making another battery here uh, to go along with the solar panels. So when I get the solar panels up and that new battery made, um, uh, you'll see the video shortly after. But uh, it's still tear apart land over here until I can get the side yard cleaned up. So, okay. Well, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Good night.